an outpouring of support, affection, even adoration for Silvio Berlusconi. Outside the former Prime Minister's mansion in Rome, huge crowds gathered to rally against his sentencing for tax fraud. The Italian people are in love with Silvio Berlusconi because he's an innocent. He's not a delinquent like the, the judges say here in Italy. The three times Prime Minister has been hauled before the courts dozens of times before and accused of crimes from bribery to paying for sex with an underage prostitute. This is the first conviction he can't appeal, but he remained defiant. When I read the newspapers and read the things that are written about me, I see myself as in a mirror that distorts you, because that is not the real Silvio Berlusconi, because I must tell you, and I tell you this looking into your eyes, and I would say this looking straight into the eyes of my judges, I am innocent. Mr. Berlusconi has accused magistrates of trying to subvert democracy by forcing him out of politics. He's due to serve a one-year sentence from October, but he's unlikely to see the inside of a cell. Under Italian law, people over the age of 75 rarely go to prison. Instead, he might be given a community sentence or held under house arrest. The rally was organized by Mr. Berlusconi's center-right People of Freedom Party. Thursday's verdict has led to days of heated bickering with their left-wing coalition partners. More pressure on an already fragile government. Some supporters want Mr Berlusconi to force an election, but he said the coalition must forge ahead with its economic reforms. Italy's shaky government needs all the support it can get. It's just three months old and faced with the monumental challenge of dragging the country out of its longest post-war recession. Emily Thomas, BBC News.